Yes, I'm still doing Aquaphor. <laughs> Hello, welcome to my channel, it's Rebecca. I have a new camera. I am still working out all the ISO, PSI, PPE, BMW, ASAP. I don't know. I'm just trying to figure out what I'm doing um, with my lighting and the frames per second and all that stuff because I thought I was going to film in 4K, but actually I don't think it's a good idea to film in 4K, so I'm trying to film in the highest HD I can. Don't make me explain any of that. Um, also, I'm trying these Indeed eye patches, and they're kind of phenomenal. So, <laughs> you guys, between tie-dye serum, Indeed, I'm going to look like a baby. I wanted to share kind of a get ready with me, kind of some new products. It's very, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I didn't want to commit too much in case my camera didn't do what I wanted it to do. And I wanted to continue using um, foundation application with Aquaphor or Vaseline on my wrinkles skin as a primer, uh, as a prep before I apply makeup. And why it's amazing and it's still working for me and I love it. I don't have a lot of time because I need to take my mom to an eye doctor appointment. It's just a regular, it's like a Tuesday morning. I'm still in my dog walking clothes. I didn't have time to wash my hair. So I am gonna kind of try to pull this together. Uh, yeah. Uh, Dermatology came out with a new Matte Universal SPF 46. It's pretty great. If you thought the physical tinted sunscreen was really thick, uh, you might like this one. It is a chemical sunblock and it is considered matte, but honestly, it's I just think it's considered satin, I guess. I don't know. Um, I am going to take these eye patches off and I knew to let the sunscreen sit. Oh, I don't even know if I have time. <laughs> I don't even know if I have time to let the sunscreen sit. <laughs> We're gonna take off the Indeed patches. These just help with really smoothing fine lines. They have kind of the Snoxin. I love, oh, actually, you know what? My tube busted and I'm using <laughs> where it cracked. Um, I'm gonna use this as like an eye cream. Um, I, uh, yeah, I, the Indeed Labs, they sent me the eye patches and they are the Snoxin too. So it's the same peptide technology and they kind of like to call them Botox. You know, Botox in a, in a jar or whatever. I'm going to put the e.l.f. foundation. So this Satin Glam, Satin Glam? Soft Glam Satin Foundation from e.l.f. is, is lovely. And I have shade 25 and I think it's a perfect shade and I've been using the elf the the dual brush so I'm gonna just do my forehead right now and then because I've got okay this is good now what I'm gonna do is I am going to apply aquaphor I do a little here where I have a line from my neck then I do a little bit here and you guys that saw the original video, my video, Scott Barnes video, every creator under the sun. The reason this works is because something occlusive like a barrier cream like Aquaphor, Vaseline, CeraVe, okay, any of those work because they're creating a film on the skin for the makeup to sit on top of. Some folks asked, what about coconut oil? What about beeswax? What about castor oil? Knock yourself out, try it. That's what makeup's all about. It's about trying stuff. And, and, and that is the fun of makeup artists is that they have experimented and, and, and 
figured out things that work. I mean, Marilyn Monroe's makeup artist did this. It's not a new trick. Scott Barnes didn't invent it. He knows he didn't invent it. Um, and I know I didn't invent it. I think we're all kind of going, we get it, we get it. So um, what's fun about it though, is if you wanna try it with some other in, uh, you know, ingredient that you use as a barrier product, go for it. Um, I will give you my opinion on why I won't use coconut oil for it. It's because coconut oil changes its um, viscosity in temperature. So when it gets warm, it gets more liquid. When it gets cold, it gets more solid. And Vaseline doesn't do that. Um, also, Vaseline is technically non-comedogenic. Uh, coconut oil is actually can create comedines, which is where comedogenic the word comes from and that is just that it can it can actually kind of make you break out but everything you need to wash your face okay so you can put something on your face and if it's not on for very long and you wash it off completely it's going to be okay makeup wise your skin doesn't breathe it doesn't have lungs does it let products evaporate off the surface, yes. So if you're wearing something that's occlusive, like an aquaphor over your skincare, it is giving it, it's slowing down the evaporation time. So that way your skin is feeling all that moisture longer under your makeup. So then your makeup isn't eating up the moisturizer and the product to compensate for your dry skin. So that's why it's working. That's why we love it and sometimes, so the other thing was beeswax. Beeswax maybe could work. Uh, beeswax isn't vegan, so if you are concerned about a vegan product, beeswax isn't vegan. Uh, oh, castor oil. Castor oil is made from ricin. <laughs> yeah, that ricin, as in <laughs> poison. <laughs> no, castor oil is fine. Some people have an allergic reaction or sensitivity to castor oil. Again, it's not necessarily the same kind of occlusive property as like an aquaphor or a Vaseline, you know? And that is really kind of, we just just play around, you know? Play around. Uh, the other thing is you don't necessarily have to powder when you do this. But I think we're all kind of obsessed with powder. I love these real techniques, fingertip things. So I'm gonna do powder. <laughs> Real quick, real quick. This is the Tattoo Studio brow that I think was launched. You guys, I don't even know. I'm having a hard time realizing like what time of the year it is. <laughs> I'm like the other day, oh gosh, I don't remember. I think I forgot that we were in the month of June, which I know that's not, we all we all do that, but it was a very strange kind of out of body experience because I was like, I can't remember if it was something to do with paperwork or an invoice and, oh, that's right. I, I remember now it was renewing my car tabs and I couldn't, for the life of me, I was like, that's weird. Why am I getting my car tab renewal in March? I thought that I did those in July and I like literally forgot it's June. Could be because of the weather. That is some major, major Groucho Marx, Groucho Marx brows, but we are gonna leave that. I'm going to take the uh, Casual Friday ColourPop shadow and I love Super Shock shadows when I'm in a hurry. Okay, and then I'm actually also going to put e.l.f. Oh, I love this. Is this the tea and a biscuit? Tea, cream and sugar, cream. Which one is this? Yeah, this is such a phenomenal shadow. All right. My latest... I love this Iris and Romeo mascara and I understand it's not drugstore and you know me, I love a drugstore mascara. 
but something is very special about this Iris and Romeo, the way it um, uh, kind of lifts. And um, I think the, yeah, I think I've just lately been loving some indie brand and kind of high-end mascaras, and I apologize. I also love the Maybelline Firework Mascara. That is pretty phenomenal. And CoverGirl just launched a new mascara, so I will be testing that. Let's see, where am I? Okay. Ah, darn it. I was about to say, and the good thing is, is I don't smudge it on my lid. Except I do. Folks, I'm obsessed with Maybelline's Sun Kisser Liquid Bronzer Blusher. And I am using shade, it's right in front of me. Shades on. This is so gorgeous, you guys. Look at this. Oh, I have mascara on my nose. We are going to have to fix that. Look at this. I'm obsessed. I know that sounds so, ugh. I'm obsessed. It just, it sounds so <sighs> cliche, but it's gorgeous. It really, really is gorgeous. You can blend it with other ones. Cause I've also got the shade, um, Uptown Glow. This one, I just feel like they don't, I'm going to, I'm going to see if I can build this because I feel like it's a very subtle, it's very subtle. And I love the fact that it is in the same packaging with the square. We've got this shape of container, just like the lifter gloss. It builds, it's not too pigmented. The e.l.f. Camo blushes, I loved those. Those are beautiful, but they are so pigmented. Wet n Wild has liquid blushes too. Those are beautiful. Those are beautiful. Okay, I kind of don't have time for contour. Uh -huh. <laughs> ColourPop came out with new liners. They're called Plumping. So juicy lip liners. I may not have said that accordingly, but they are phenomenal. They are very creamy. They are very pigmented. They're so soft, so you gotta be careful because you can't go in or you'll smash your, your liner. Uh, I'll list the shades in the description box. They have a light vanilla scent, a or taste, and then they have a bit of a minty. It's like kind of a vanilla mint. And then they have, I guess they have a plumping quality, but they also are just so, they're supposed to have kind of like ceramide type help with smoothing. It's really hard lately for me to pick a favorite lip product because there are so many good ones. If you have chapped lips, if you've had sunburnt lips recently, if you've had any kind of peeling lips, I don't recommend any kind of plumping products because I think the actives in there will just irritate. Wait for your lips to heal, to feel better, then go in and like really do what you want, right? Okay, so that is the liner. So Juicy Gloss, they sent me all the shades. Did they send me all the shades? They sent me some PR, lots of shades. So I'm gonna swatch some more of them eventually, but this one is definitely your kind of like neutral. It's got the biggest doe foot, and then it kind of gets gooey because you have to yank it out. Uh, I don't know, that might bother some people. I'm okay with it. Lovely lip oil that has kind of a tacky gloss and then it has a little bit of plumping 
little bit just gentle so it's it's really nice I do like it it doesn't want to fit in there but that's okay I think I'm I'm ready enough I'm going to um I need to change my top and I'm gonna put my hair up yeah I'm just gonna how are we doing how's my color balance do I look a little tan all right well there we are see no creases I love them I love I love these products everything's amazing I will list it below and that is why I still love using Aquaphor and I will always use some kind of something here over my eye cream under my concealer face products all right folks thank you so much for watching click that subscribe button look down below for links and take care and I'll see you next time bye